Hello again, this is Psychogear with the Redstone Request Tutorial number 6 and this request was given by a Minecraft forum user named MonkeyMad358 and yeah, the, the request was about a device that would teleport people to different cells in a prison server I guess but anyways um, I have to say that I didn't see that it was mentioned that uh, walking on pressure plates would not be uh, such a good solution but uh, since this is not walking on pressure plates but spawning on pressure plates I will put it up uh, anyways so uh, yeah this is what I came up with and it's pretty uh, simple actually this is the one-way counter that I uh, that I actually already explained in my very first tutorial and redstone tutorial uh, to remember not ghost block tutorial but anyway so uh, you have this counter here and it will go from one two three four to five and back to one again so uh, this teleporter is uh, going to teleport the, ne the uh, nearest player to the first cell, the second one to the second, and so on and so on. And basically, it happens when you step on this pressure plate. So um, now I'm I was teleported to the second one, and now I'm going to be teleported to the third one. As you can see, it worked. So the third one, fourth and the fifth and now so this is pretty much uh, I have already explained that in uh, in uh, l l my first tutorial I think yes it was the first as I said and yeah so uh, if you want to know how this one works you can just uh, watch the first tutorial I'm not going to explain it again here what I'm going to focus on is this one here because this is something that I uh, uh, forgot about and now I, I fixed it so what happens if two people spawn so um, at first uh, there was mentioned that uh, there was already a spawn point set up so uh, uh, it, it would be a shame if you ha you'd had to break that and what uh, I think is uh, you don't need to break that you just need to uh, at the actual spawn point so or more like uh, if, if you uh, spawn you spawn on the pressure plate and then you get uh, teleported to the cells you want so that's basically uh, how it is I don't think there is a way to set different spawn points for the first spawn uh, in any way if you don't uh, download any kind of mods but I don't really like to use mods I want to um, uh, make sure that everything works in vanilla except for goes uh, for uh, command blocks of course if you need to use them then I'm uh, or if they are part of the re request then I will uh, of course use them but um, everything else should work in uh, in vanilla so no MC edit or something like that and actually uh, what I came up with uh, for the two player spawn problem is first of all this is actually how you how it looks when you spawn so this uh, teleporter will actually simulate like uh, you spawn on the pressure plate and that's how it is you just spawn on the pressure plate and uh, immediately get teleported to your cell and what happens now if two people spawn at the same time this can happen of course so I'm just going to delete the connection so I don't get teleported every time now if you uh, step on a pressure plate and get teleported the signal is just going to be on short and what I came up with is this this is going to create an inverted pulse and I actually have a little problem here that does not show up but I'm, but I'm not really sure why it works actually oh, okay of course it works um, so this uh, this torch powers this line 
and this torch all pass also the same line but without the delay here so if you um, turn this on it will actually oh wait this wasn't correct and I'm going to delete this also um, it will create an inverted pulse here and it will not turn off this line here because uh, this turret is tor uh, turning off but this line is still powering this redstone here until the inverted pulse reaches th this line and uh, if you are going to be teleported and there's no player left then this uh, uh, inverted pulse will, will reach this point here after this torch uh, turned on again and therefore this line is never going to be depowered and this uh, short pulse generator is never going to be uh, activated but if you stay on the pressure plate what happens is this inverted pulse is not going to be a pulse it's going to be an inverted signal that uh, a steady signal that will uh, get uh, until here and uh, I will just show uh, just focus on that one back there so oh of course I have to I'll just take this away and I have to do this oh, okay so I, I uh, just put this here and you see that in this case I just uh, got teleported because uh, this line got depowered and this torch was not turned on because uh, some th uh, something or someone is standing on the pressure plate in this case it, it's a torch but it's the same principle um, principle anyways um, so this line gets depowered and then this short pulse generator is going to create a short pulse obviously and yeah this is how it works and actually I don't need this over here I can just go ahead and make another of these and then we are actually already done um and wait I'm going to invert this here so that we are okay so this works and now I can simulate that by uh, one uh, at first I'm going to I'm just going to step on here again and you can see that I'm going to te be teleported once or was this twice I'm not sure okay let's see I'm I'm teleported to the last one so the next time I'll be teleported to the first one uh, and I am in the first one so if I now put a item on the wooden pressure plate it will stay powered so it will teleport me to the second one and because it it seems like there is still a player on the pressure plate it will do the teleport thing again so it will d then d teleport me to the uh, third one and it should actually work t second and third yeah it works so you can f uh, actually pu put multiple of these with, with then more delay to make sure that uh, that uh, everyone get tele gets teleported so if you have like 15 cells and you want to make sure that even if 15 p people spawn at once they will all get teleported then you have to uh, uh, make 15 of these or come up with your own system anyways uh, this is how it works and yeah I think uh, that's all about it and uh, basically what you can do is um, no that's not what I want to do but anyways so uh, this is just basically how it works uh, you have your number of cells you can increase the number of cells and the number of counting slots as you want uh, uh, as much as you wish you just have to uh, put repeaters in here to make sure that the signal get, uh, get th uh, through it and that's it uh, that's about my idea it works in vanilla perfectly I'm here on my bucket server but uh, there are no mods installed so it's all completely vanilla except for the command blocks and yeah I hope I was able to help you and 
I will see you in the next video. If you have a request on your own, then you can put it in my comments or uh, make a video answer or put it in the red, uh, redstone um, discussion and mechanism forum. And yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.